What's up my friends, it's Edward Tomaloso, your Honda man, internet sales manager at Honda of Santa Maria. And today I'm doing what's known as an owner's review because I did purchase this 2016 Honda Civic EXL. So hopefully if you're watching this video and are deciding to buy this exact car and want to know what it's like after a month of owning it, hopefully this video helps you. So as I mentioned, I did get myself into a brand new 2016 Honda Civic EXL. I've been getting the request to do this video a few times uh, by different viewers. So I figured I'd do it and it's in a different setting. It's actually in front of my house. So check it out. I'm just gonna go over the different things that I love using every single day, uh, as well as just the features that are really handy uh, in my daily life. And then also a few things that I changed that it didn't come stock with, which is mainly the tint. So let's take a look. So I did mention it earlier, the tint, I did put the visor on here. Now it really helps because when I go to work at Honda of Santa Maria, I end up having the sun in my eyes and this definitely helps when the sun isn't very high at all and it's beaming right to me. I don't really have to use my uh, interior visor very often. It makes it really nice. It's actually limo tint and uh, it goes to the arrows on the glass itself. Next thing I did, I put limo tint on all windows in the back. Biggest thing with that is if you're deciding to go limo tint, uh, you wanna consider what it's going to be like at night. Uh, if it doesn't bother you that it's too dark, definitely go with it. Helps so that people can't peek into your car as well as keeps the heat down. Uh, in the summer or the hotter weather. The biggest thing that helps out if you're considering that in terms of window tint and the whole nighttime driving thing is the car does have that backup camera and it does have the lane watch, which to me is something that I use every day now. I do parallel park a lot so that third view with the top down view as you're backing up really helps when you're inching close to the car behind you. And then of course, that lane watch, who doesn't love it? It's really nice. I, I do use the freeway getting to work and I am on the fast lane nor normally and then when I want to merge into the slow lane, definitely helps to see what's going on uh, on my right side. Another thing I use almost every day, which I didn't think I would use every day, is the remote start. The mornings have been pretty cold and since I have it, I might as well warm up my car. So the way that the remote start works is if the car senses it's cold outside, it'll actually bring it back to that 72 degrees room temperature inside your car. Just started my car right now. All you have to do is push the lock button until you hear the beep and then hold that start button. Car will start. It'll hold that start for 10 minutes. And if you want to extend it, let's say you're at the gym and you started getting the car warmed up, but you want to extend that time because you're going to be another 10 minutes. So 20 minutes total. All you do is you push the lock button once and then you hold that start button again and your headlights or your turn signal lights will flash six times letting you know that your time is extended. This will work if unobstructed. It'll work for up to 60 yards. Even if I'm in my room, I could go ahead and start it and it's just fine. It's nice and warm before I hit the gym in the morning. Pretty nice. I guess style wise while I'm still out here, I couldn't be happier with the redesign of the 2016 Honda Civic. Before I got into this one, I was selling quite a few of them and the biggest compliments I've got are the body lines are just super sharp, looks really aggressive, especially when you compare it to the ninth generation. So I'm really happy about the looks. Whenever I walk up to it, I'm like, all right, this is a cool car. I can feel good about getting into it. Which by the way, I was driving a CRV before this and I wasn't sure about the space, but the space has been incredible. I've been able to put my fishing poles in there. Everything's just been fine. I haven't really ran into any space issues coming from a CRV like I thought I would. So I've had this car for about a month now and I've filled it up four times. And one of the things that I really have been getting used to but in a pleasant way has been the capless fuel filler. Just the whole idea of not having to unscrew a cap and plug the nozzle right in has been really awesome. Kind of makes me lazy but hey, it's a cool little convenience that Honda put in there. I mean, one of the benefits to that is there's no accidentally leaving the cap screwed in halfway to the point where 
your check engine light comes on because the fuel system has lack of pressure and it just, again, just super convenient. And you don't have to scratch up your paint job when you're filling up your gas. Speaking of paint job, I decided to go with the Lunar Silver Metallic. I love it. It is a new color for 2016 for the Honda Accord, the Honda Civic. They haven't put it in the CRV yet, but they did make a Lunar Silver Pilot, which is really nice. My biggest consideration was keeping it clean. I mean, this car is actually really dirty right now. Uh, I haven't washed it for about four days. It looks good, even if it's not clean. Rule of thumb, lighter shade cars show less dirt. So like a white won't really show dirt, even if it's super filthy. And then uh, your black cars, of course, if you're gonna have a black car, know that you're gonna have to keep it clean. And you also run into the whole swirl mark thing. So I didn't want to deal with that hassle, but this Lunar Silver Metallic looks really, really good on this car, especially with the body lines, all of that. I've been loving the look. It even looks good with the chrome front and then with these 17 inch alloy wheels, really completes the package. I love it. Going back to the key, let's not forget, this car does have that smart key entry system, push button start. That's something that I've been getting used to and I actually really enjoy. I'm used to it to the point where I'm no longer grabbing for the key when I'm getting out of the car, which has been really interesting, kind of psychologically, but it's been fun. You do have the buttons on the sides here where you can lock and then you can unlock the car by putting your hand in the door handle. There's a sensor there. As long as you're within three feet of the car, it will unlock. It just hit me right now. It's so interesting actually reviewing my own car. I love it. Thanks for, again for the suggestion. On the interior of the EXL, which actually it's funny because this is the first time I am reviewing the EXL and it's kind of special again since it is mine. You will notice, of course, you have your leather interior and it's a two-tone, even if this Lunar Silver Metallic comes with black, uh, it is a perforated leather surface uh, as well as uh, a different sort of vinyl material uh, running down the side as a stripe. You do have gray stitching as well. Feels really comfortable. The bolstering is really nice. Uh, I did have a customer last night who bought one, uh, the same exact car as uh, I have, which is really cool, but he lives an hour and a half away, so we're not gonna see each other but it's all good, even if we did. I love seeing this car around. Again, it's just super comfortable. One of the things I use pretty much daily, but sometimes I don't, because this car actually does come equipped with XM, but uh, I will plug in my phone sometimes to listen to audiobooks because the CarPlay system actually will pull up like audible.com or your podcasts and all of those features. I love the screen on this car, very visible. Only time it might not be visible as, as if your moonroof is open. Another feature that I didn't think I would use a lot, but I actually do, is the brake hold system. It's that whole system that uh, applies and holds the brake for you when you come to a complete stop. So when you come to a stoplight, you could actually take your foot off your brake and just relax. The car will hold that position for you until you put your foot on the gas and it'll allow you to go. I use that quite a bit actually. Like, when I'm coming off of an off-ramp, uh, I'll go ahead and I'll engage it before I'm at the end of that off-ramp because at the end of the off-ramp, sometimes you're parked at an angle and it just allows you to know you're not gonna roll back. Even if this car won't, it's just a little bit of additional peace of mind. That way when the light turns green, just go super easy. I didn't really think I'd use it, but again, I use it quite a bit. Another thing that I didn't think I would utilize a lot would be the audio screen inside the instrument panel. That is actually really cool because especially with like XM radio, you get all these different channels that you're not really sure about. So you can actually scan through them right in your line of sight and land on a station and it'll start playing before you're done uh, with the actual station that you're listening to. And then another thing, uh, after I've been driving around in the 1.5 turbo for the last month, that turbo really makes a huge difference in terms of acceleration. Even if you're going 30, 40 miles an hour, you can get up to 60 really quick. It's just that 16 pounds of pressure going right back into the engine that the turbocharger creates really is something that you could notice. The more I talk about it, the more I realize there are things that I didn't think I would use, but I really utilize quite a bit. I even utilize the heated seats in the morning. I mean, it's just another comfort factor. Even if it's like 60 or high 50s, it's just nice to be able to warm up really quick and get to a comfort level, then turn it off when you're done. Especially if you wake up early in the morning. I mean, that feature is key. Even the moonroof. I didn't think I would use that a lot, but as you can see, I leave it open. 
Another thing is you do have the tilt function on the moonroof. With the black interior, there is a tendency for the leather to get hot. If you're going to leave the car parked, say an hour or so, and it's really hot outside, if you leave that moonroof cracked open, it'll let the hot air escape, keeps the air fresh inside, really makes a big difference when you get back into your car after a, a long day or if you go to the grocery store or anything like that. One thing that has been really interesting to get used to after having the CRV uh, is the electronic parking brake. I love what Honda did with that because there's less clutter, there's no pull handbrake uh, like the previous generation, as well as no foot brake, so you do have uh, more room for your feet, which is something that I really find very well designed. All you have to do to operate it is put your foot on the brake, pull up on it, and it will set push down on it and you'll hear the electronics work and it will disengage. And again, after driving this car for a month, I really have come to appreciate the cable management system on this vehicle. There's that little cubby down here where you have your USB port as well as another power outlet, which really helps in terms of making it less cluttered. I really enjoy getting into a car and not seeing a bunch of trash or things that are accumulated uh, over time of using it. This system really makes a big difference. And then overall, I mean, just the aesthetics of the car, you have this sort of metallic finish as, long, as well as the soft plastics, and then all centered around the touchscreen. Definitely a good job in terms of the design of this car. Of course, you get the dual climate control on the EXL. Another feature that you get, I mean, jumping back on the outside, you do get your fog lights. That comes on the EXT and above. Of course, EXT and aboves give you the, like I mentioned earlier, the XM satellite radio, which I am not even sure if I really want to keep, but I do enjoy it. High quality sound, and I don't lose it if I'm going to go on a road trip. That's awesome. 15 cubic feet of trunk space. I've utilized that after moving into my place. It's uh, something very key. The auto day nightmare that comes on the EXL, I haven't really seen much of a difference. One thing that I will mention that I re really uh, am glad I got the EXL, one reason is the power seats. Well, the power driver seat, I really enjoy it. I, I like the ability to fine tune my seating position. Sometimes I like to sit higher, sometimes lower. It's a, a very nice system. Uh, one thing that would have been a little bit better, but I'm not going to knock Honda for this, is the lumbar support. There isn't a lumbar adjustment. That would have been nice, but it's a really nice car. I can't, I can't knock them for that. Um, now, to touch on something I don't use very often, I don't use the Econ button very often at all. I think I've turned it on once this whole time that I've owned this car just to see how it, it works. But I mean, with this engine, I mean, it's just really fun to drive. So if you haven't driven the 2016 Honda Civic EXL, I highly, highly suggest it. It does outperform any other Civic that I've ever seen. I've heard reviews where the EXT or the 1.5 turbo is actually faster than the previous generation SI. So that's really interesting to me. I'm, I'm excited to actually see that in person. But uh, if you guys have any links to that, leave them in the comments below. I'd like to read or see any video with proof that this is faster than a 2015 and older Civic SI. I don't think I left anything out. Those are a few of the functions that I come to know and love after having this for a month. The instrument panel, the heated seats, the remote start, the push button start, all those convenience features, they really do add up to make the EXL a great package. Thank you so much for checking out my owner's review of the 2016 Honda Civic EXL. Reason I do these videos is that if it can help somebody make a great purchasing decision on a vehicle based on my reviews, I feel like I can make a difference. So hopefully this helped you. And uh, if it did, leave your comments below. And if you're an owner of an EXL and there's some features I didn't mention, definitely leave it in the comments below. I'd love to see how other owners feel about their 2016 Honda Civic. But again, thanks guys for watching. Uh, if you want to see more, definitely subscribe. If you are in the market to purchase one, you can hit me up. As long as you're on the central coast of California, I do get calls from other states where I can't really be of help. And if you're like four hours away, same story. I can't really help too much. 
So if that's the case, definitely leave your comments below. There's other people that can answer your questions there. But again, I appreciate you checking this out. I appreciate being able to share with you guys my new car. I'll catch you guys later. Bye for now.